Ow! YouTube Woody Butter here. And we are back in Pokemon Snakewood. In this set, we are going to do Tower, I think. Yeah, I was going to go for the Tower. No one actually mentioned it. I just felt like going to a tall structure. Mm. <laughs> First off, though, someone did point out that Sindaco is more interesting than Amolga. And I, I have to agree, Sindaco is new. So, Amolga, for now, will go away. If Sindaco doesn't work out very well, Amolga will be right back in this team. In it, bruv. Or whatever the kids say these days. Alright, right. Right, right. Oh no, wait. God. Okay. One sec, sorry. I should have really thought. Because Amolga is actually carrying the, um... The, oh, don't give you anything. Is carrying the thingamajiggy for the thingamajiggy, the brain link. There we go. So let's quickly move and do that. All right. Hopefully, Sindaco will evolve into something like epic and amazing. Because you know it's a phoenix. It's a phoenix. It's a phoenix, right? Ace Attorney. And and I mean, if anyone can do it, I'm sure he can. Of course, we're not in court right now, so don't know how well he'll fare. Uh, before we go, let's just quickly check on our pet, because, I don't know, curious. I don't know where it is. Which one of these caves are you in? Oh, hello? Nope, that's that's definitely not it. Hmm. Um, oh, okay, this will make sense. No, not you. Okay, there? Ah, yes, hello. How's my pet? Doing scratch kitten, yeah. Ah, your scratch kitten was playing in the grass when all at once a max mouse came up, tried to beat it up. However, its killer instinct awoke and it ate the mouse. Due to the incident, it seems to have grown up all of a sudden. Here, take it back. Grown up into a sinuous meowth. Ah, oh. <laughs> right. I would rather not train a meowth unless it has some sort of secret evolution, which might be interesting. Um, hmm. I might actually check if there's a secret evolution in a minute. Doing a lot of training. It shouldn't take too long to train it out, because I kind of get the impression that it wouldn't... That it's not going to have, um... What's the word? It's not going to be a very high level. There we go. Ugh, oh, my mind is so foggy today. I don't know why. I didn't have school today, but, yeah. It was my friend's last day of school today, which was just awful. And, yeah, we're going to hang out before she leaves, but still... It's not good, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, we've been through this. I want my Meowth. Meowth me. Right, okay. You can also take my other pet. Which I think you've probably taken the pony. Which is probably a Ponyta, in retrospect. Oh, oh yeah. So, Meowth is normal dark as well as Persian. Interesting. Um. Yep, yeah, just your run of the mill Meowth, apparently. Um. Hmm. Okay, what can I do with you? I don't know. Okay, I will be right back. I'm going to see if it has a secret evolution. So, yeah. Yeah. Turns out, from what research I did, there is no secret evolution. So, uh, screw you, Mouth. I am going to switch you out with Sindurko, because Sindurko actually kind of cool. Meowth, not so much. I swear you could catch a Meowth in the wild before now anyway, so why would you want one from a pet store for $10,000? Poke dollars, whatever they're called. For that, that matter. And that, because, I don't know. It's foggy head. <laughs> Sorry if I just utter random nonsense today. It's, yeah. Lots, lots going on and stuff, yeah. Friend, other stuff, more personal stuff, which I won't display in these videos. Nothing personal, just... You know, not something I tell the world. Everyone has them. The tower! Take me to the tower. Very well, ascend to my back. Okay. I didn't really ascend to your back, but alright. Mystic... Oh, this is a gym? Ah, uh, hello? Legendary Pokemon on this top of this tower. Flew away a while ago because of the unroaching evil. Evil. <laughs> oh, okay, I did mean to speak to him, but alright. Might as well see what's going on in here. Looks like a very fine place. Oh, probably it's cool. Um, we have a fire type now, though. So, hmm. What are the crop X's? No, not down. Hmm. What are the X's? Okay, nothing really. 
Okay. It's probably a, a, like a teleport pad, a, a type of teleport pad. So I can't go up there right now. Because the teleport I need is blocked off. Um, thus making the tower slightly pointless. Yay. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, I might as well just go to the hall then. Could be interesting. The training hall? Very well, the center my back. Oh yes, the training hall. No, no, thank you. Alright, this is... Boring. Okay. Uh, this looks like the gym more than the other place did. We took the floor tiles from the gym here and built a maze. Trains the mind as well as the body. Oh, not a maze. No. No. I don't know. Oh. oh, God. Psychic pigs. <laughs> well, I should have seen that one coming. Right, okay. Um... It's a fire psychic, I think. Didn't mean to slash it, still. Might as well. Yeah. Um, did that say six elements? Who are you? Who are you, sir? Yeah, okay. I mean, who are you? Right, near yeah. Six elements flammer. Alright. Moltres? Okay. Bit of a level difference there. Gotta say. <laughs> well, not level difference, but... Well, rarity difference would be a start. Power difference? Not so much. Burn down to cinders. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what we do. And ooh. okay, what the hell? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, you. Okay. Oh, don't. Oh, you always take me back to the same place. So this seems like to be the maze from Ruby and Sapphire, just slightly harder. Hello. I am the champion flyer here. None can match my mastery of the four winds. Don't know where his voice went at the end of that one. He's probably going through dragon puberty. <laughs> it's basically when the roar goes from a squeak to an actual roar. It's like, <laughs> and thus the process of dragon puberty begins. <laughs> See what I mean about the nonsense? But this, that was good nonsense. It was the kind of nonsense that you'd, well, you wouldn't, wouldn't really spread it around. But you know, it's, it's something that might, might make you think. Do dragons go through puberty? Can dragons actually breed? Probably because they're animals. Are they animals? Not really. They're legendary creatures. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that train of thought, I'll be honest. Still, kind of interesting. I don't really want to use right because that would be just stupid. Um, three and five on. Yeah, good. Good. I have been, uh, blown away! Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so that would lead me... Yeah, okay, that... Oh, no! Mm, oh, no, this path will lead me to this level. Yay! We did... Okay. So, hmm. Can I... What is this path? So, oh, hello, slammed right into him. When I stand firm, I cannot be moved. Just like a mountain. His voice is a bit... His voice is a bit all over the place as well. He wasn't really pubertic. A uh, pubetic? Is pubetic a word? I don't think so. It might be, actually. I just never heard it. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> that dragon's not really pubetic. It's just... It's a bit cap, really. Not necessarily a bad thing, but, you know. Still, voice is a bit all over the place. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe he can't really decide what he wants to speak like today. Fair enough, I mean... Everyone goes through that stage. I mean, you wake up in the morning, you rub the sleep out of your eyes and think, do I want to talk like a builder or a woman today? <laughs> I mean, your choice then falls down to, I'm a builder or I'm a woman. Both of those are very harsh stereotypes. and You shouldn't take them into real account in general society. But my, my point still stands. Oh, okay. This mountain is crumbled. Your power is something beyond belief! Oh yeah, oh yeah, he is in puberty, it's fine. <laughs> oh, it's uh... I don't know why all the dragons are going through that time right now. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> it's like someone's forcing them to talk like that. Each of us represents an elemental force. Mine is the raging sea storm! Okay, so from what I can assume there are six of them, and they all have a different element. If that makes sense. <laughs> Especially considering what he just said, I mean... This is like the elemental six or six something, according to the trainer type. So yeah, having six 
is reasonable. I don't understand how mazes can train your mind anyway. It's not... Well, you've got to... It's, basically, it's a memory exercise, if anything. And that... I mean, that doesn't exactly... Like, make you a genius. It just increases your memory a bit. Admittedly, most intelligence is down to... Um, is down to memory, but... If, for instance, you wanted to talk in terms of... I don't know, perception. And how well people can encode and retrieve memories, then then I suppose, well no, no it's not really, yeah no, maybe just, just, just test memory, and yeah, although n intelligence isn't necessarily based on memory, I would talk about IQ but then IQ's not entirely accurate either, um, hmm, I won't go into the details of anything, partly because I don't understand the whole thing myself, but also partly because Meh, it's probably a rather large subject. And one that I'm sure is very interesting, but not one that I have the uh, the brain power to process right now. Just, as I said, very long day. Very long day. Hello. Nature's power is always strong in dragons. I am nature's power. And I am human's power. Oh, Gaia! Oh, it's Mother Earth in the form of a dragon. Seems a bit weird in retrospect, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Best not judge it. I mean, Gaia... Gaia could be a vengeful old woman, wouldn't she? Yeah. Gaia in, um, in God of War was quite good. Yeah, I like that interpretation of it. I kind of like Greek legends in general. Well, Greek, Rome, which I don't know. Yeah, but I, I like them, because they're always quite... They're unintentionally flamboyant, like, it's pointlessly over the top, but in a really good, interesting way. And I like that. It's a, it's a good story. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not Greek, nor superstitious, so I don't, I don't like, take the um, Greek myths as the truth. I don't believe that there's, there's Mother Earth below us, although I do, I do care about the environment. Um... But, yeah, I don't believe there's some, like, titans t <laughs> held up in hell or something. That's just not how I roll. <laughs> I mean, if there were titans, I'd probably noticed them. Hmm. It's all really superstition. I'm kind of like a science-y guy. Not that I obviously discredit other people's beliefs. It would be ignorant and rude to say you're stupid because you believe something. On the other hand, it's ignorant and rude to say... For someone else to say that I'm stupid because I don't believe something. It's all about tolerance and, you know, general social stigma and all that rubbish. Again, a subject not going to get into because it's not really Pokemon related at all. Not that anything I've been speaking about today has been really Pokemon related. But, you know, you know my point, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's reached a stage where I think I should have been focusing on the Pokemon and not, like, whatever the hell I was talking about before. Because then Clayboy might have actually survived that. Yeah. Even against the might of all life, you prevail. Remarkable. Mmm. <laughs> okay. What's up with you? Like lightning that splits the sky. Thunder that rends the air. My element is a destructive power indeed. Mmm. I'm sure it is. Electro. Okay. No. Oh, okay. Of course. Um. Hmm. One thing I've noticed about Bob, he runs out of PP very fast. Hmm. Um. Yeah, base. Base is probably a good idea. I think. I think grass resists. Doesn't resist self-destruct. <laughs> Doesn't resist self-destruct at all. Actually. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. This could be a bit tricky actually because. Um. My ground type, Clayboy, is dead now, so I've got nothing that's wholly resistant to to um, to lightning or flying, for that matter. Um, hmm. <laughs> Slash might be a safe bet. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, wet belly. You're a beast, a Rayquazish beast. Rayquazish is a word now. It's when something is Rayquaza-like. <laughs> We are weak in that respect, uh, yes. Uh, uh, I, um, I just, <laughs> I just, I thought, um, you might want to know. I wrote, uh, ooh, 
Uh, I wrote two pages of a play today, just because I was bored. Um, it's called uh, Sad Clowns. <laughs> I'm quite proud of it, yeah. Um, hmm. It's about sad clowns, funnily enough. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's another one. Hmm. I quite like it. It's because um, in my school we have this thing where we all have to do acts or plays for Christmas, like a couple of little skits or something. It's just a bit. Of, it's just a bit of a laugh, really. But no one really, no one really seemed to want to write anything. So I figured I might as well. I had like an hour or two free, so you know, it's a bit of fun, really. Yeah, it's not finished, but what I've got, I think, I hope they'll like. I'll have to show it to them on Monday and hopefully <laughs> impress them enough to make them want to dress up as clowns and act. So yeah, uh, what else did I do today actually? I got a portrait of a lady out of the library, mainly because I'm in a reading club and we have to read that. It's a pretty hefty book, considering that we, we weren't meant to be given hefty books because, you know, A-levels and stuff, January exams, quite stressful. And we kind of need to focus on studies, which FYI might limit the amount of videos I make now. So, so yeah, it's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit odd giving us a thick book to read. From what I've read of it so far, it's actually quite good. I quite like the re the uh, writing style. But then, is that? Yeah, I've done that. Um, oh, yes, made it to the middle with a mostly dead team. Um, <laughs> do I have any items that can fix this problem? Um, short answer, no. <laughs> so let's just wing it. You returned my daughter to me. You defeated the four horsemen. And now you have overcome the powerful six element dragons. I cannot begin to comprehend from where your spirit rises. But I strive to emulate your warrior's heart. You should, um, you know, some cultures, some really ancient cultures, used to believe that to, if you eat your opponent's heart, you can um, you can gain their courage. I mean, I'm not trying to give you any ideas, but I mean, if you think you're hard enough, come on then. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Something that I never thought I'd say, just casually. If you think you're hard enough, come on then. Come on, you yeah, lead butt, yeah. Um. <laughs> uh. Right. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. I'm just gonna struggle him because Bob, Bob, not in a position to fight much, and I don't really have any PP items, so struggle him. Just struggle, struggle, struggle. Bob will not manage to take down the dragon, mm. which, in retrospect, is probably the dragon type. Thank you, Yushu. <laughs> uh, um, if only base were alive to to freeze it. Yeah. Um. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, slash is... Yeah, oh, wow. Okay, that's impressive. And Web Belly is very much over-leveled now compared to the rest of the team. Why do you have Bubble? You're a Kingdra. Why, why Bubble? That makes no sense. And he has a team of six dragons. This is... This is a bit of a bitch. Ah, this could be difficult. Um... Yeah, right's gonna learn well, right? Okay. Right, uh, we haven't actually been through his moves, have we? Blows away the foe with wind and ends the battle. No, I don't like that, but what else has he got? A fiery charge attack, that's alright. Um, hmm, that's not bad, actually. Willow the Wisp is quite useful. And a flying type move. Okay, good enough. Yeah, stop learning it. Yeah. Um, kind of get the feeling that this isn't going to go amazingly well. Um, <laughs> what are the West probably my only bet for this battle now? Oh, okay. Uh, flame will maybe stab. Yeah, I thought so. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, this isn't going remarkably well. Come on, don't. If he can't attack, if he doesn't attack me, I might actually be able to get some really good experience for right. But if ah, oh, damn it. No, oh, right could have leveled up then. Or not. Probably not, let's be honest. Um Okay. Let's get back there because I want to beat him. Um I'm not gonna give up so easily. 
Okay, let's... Oh, Dad switches every sound, of course I have. Okay, let's try and do this again. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, be awkward like that. See if I can. I do care. Yeah. Uh, um. Uh, yes. Oh my god, that is... That is fright. That is weird to look at. You're oh, so much activity going on in the screen when I do that. Whoop. Okay. When you run super fast, it's just it's, it's incredibly okay. Bit odd there. Why have I stopped? That. Okay. Let's pretend that didn't happen and move on. Ah. Uh, okay. So can I? Blocked off from going that. Okay, so I can go that way then. Okay, fine, fine. Just, I, I, I'll live with it. I'll live with it. Let's see where you're going with this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's that one done. So I could just. Ooh, I could head back now and hopefully. Yes! Score! Yeah, I did, didn't I? Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's tear this guy apart. Um. Because that's what we do to people. We we defeat them needlessly. Uh, oh, by the way, um, just to let you know about the whole song thing from a while ago, doing the uh, cats, cats, cats thing, I've decided that doing a song based on four words is surprisingly hard. I made an attempt, but it was quite bad, if I say so myself. Of course, not one to like give up on something that you guys want me to do. I have decided to write a different song. It's a parody, and it is based around Pokemon Snakewood. And yeah, I'm hopefully going to get a friend to do the um, instruments for it. Otherwise, I'll have to get them offline, which I'd rather not do because of whole, you know, all sorts of things. Or I'd have to learn the song, which would take me a lot longer. <laughs> but yeah, I've got the lyrics. I'm quite proud of them. So I'm going to sort of try and make that. I won't tell you what the, the song is a parody of. I just kind of hope you like it in general. You know, because I understand that not everything I can, um, not everyone will like everything I do, or every every song ever. But it's just, you know, take under consideration that I had you in mind when writing this, and you know, you know. Mm. Oh, did not mean to do that. That's just Bob. Why did I switch to Bob? Why? I don't know. Did Bass die? I. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my mind is so foggy. So foggy. Um, I, I kind of need a nap, or a cup of tea, depending on what I need, caffeine or actual genuine rest. Um, I think either way I win. <laughs> I guess tea would let me play Skyrim or something. Mm. Or actually do some work. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh, and um, for the very few of you who act, well, probably the zero of you who are actually wondering how because ages ago I mentioned a girl, a girl, let's leave it at that, um, yeah, not going incredibly well, not that, um, I mean, we're close friends and stuff, like, naturally, but, you know, interested in another guy, and, really, I just wanted to be happy, so, you know, gonna cut my losses, and let her live her life, because that's, that's the gentlemanly thing to do, and, it, it, I mean, I don't know, she wants to be happy with someone else, and that's fine. And yeah, I'm not going to go further into it. Just giving you an update for the zero of you that wanted to know. I wanted to know, okay? 